Chris Hilton is back in charge of the Newcastle team after manager Joe Kinnear was taken to hospital this morning as a precaution after feeling unwell in the night. The team Kinnear had already picked includes Ryan Taylor, who makes his debut after signing from Wigan, and Peter Lovenkrantz, the former Rangers striker, who starts for Newcastle for the first time. Jonas Gutierrez is suspended, Mark Viduka and Alan Smith are both back on the bench. West Brom are without the injured Jay Simpson and have Gianni Zuvalun suspended, so Carl Hufkins is at right back, and the Korean Kim comes into a basic 4-5-1 but with Morrison supporting Fortuné. Well, for all the snow and ice elsewhere in the country, this pitch looks perfect, and the sun is shining at the Hawthorns. Now, Fortuné up there is going to have to battle a little bit by himself. They'll try and get Morrison close to him if they can. And here's Peter Lovenkrantz. And Damien Duffy with a chance for Newcastle, and they've scored! They've scored! In the second minute, less than 70 seconds gone, and it's Damien Duff. And West Brom caught absolutely cold in defence. Damien Duff, who has scored vital goals against Spurs and Everton this season, is just hanging around really there. He gets in between the two defenders and slides it past Carson. And the man who takes the responsibility really there, Leon Barnett, who hasn't been playing in the Albion side, Recall today somewhat surprisingly and he slipped up there and he let Duff in. What a start for the Geordies. This is Josie Enrique. Valero looking for Fortune. Oh, it's the equaliser! It's Mark Antoine for today, and there's still not four minutes gone. What a start to this game. The Albion are level. It's rather similar to the Newcastle goal. The defence is just wafer thin. And Fortuné coming in from the left here. Well, one defender's on his back there. And that shot gives Stephen Harper little chance. Stephen Taylor here falls over. He falls over and gives Fortuné the chance to strike, which he does with unerring accuracy. It's 1-1. Amiobi going down in a tangle there. This is Duff. It's not a bad ball, actually. Oof. Oh, it's come back again to Lovenkrantz! And he scores for Newcastle! It's 2-1 after eight and a half minutes. And Tony Mowbray... He just can't believe it. The Albion defence again goes missing. There was a right old tangle here twice, and then Damien Duff laid the ball across, and it's Ryan Taylor who comes in there. Deflection off two defenders, chucked away by Lovenkrantz. West Brom one, Newcastle two. This is Morrison. Valero's made a forward run here for the Albion. Oh, Newcastle are at sixes and sevens. Morrison! It's come out to Kim. Dainty feet. But Valero. And now Fortuné. Chris Brunt again with the left foot. Look where the goalkeeper is there, he'd come all the way and has to go back. But, uh, oh, defender Colaccini in a good position there to uh, block the shot. Albion pressing for the second equaliser. Duff. Oh, that's a good turn. But... Oh, it's oh and did he get a touch Ryan Taylor? Well, doesn't matter now. It was a let-off for Albion, whether he did or not. Now then, here was Ryan Taylor sneaking forward. Might have got... Oh, Carson didn't gather it. He did the second time. That's Amiobi. Lervenkrantz. Nolan's well forward here. Amiobi, he's trying to hold them off. Lervenkrantz, oh, it was close. Herfkin's got the ball away. Going into the last five minutes of the first half, Newcastle with a corner, Basson forward with Steven Taylor.
bit, bit of a conversation going on between the two of them there. Oh, Stephen Taylor, and it's 3-1. Well, the conversation between Taylor and Basson obviously paid off. And again, the Albion defence have to look at themselves. Taylor came in as last man here. Gets the header in, it's gone in off the defender, really, and the post. There's the conversation, that's what preceded that. And whatever was said has fooled the Albion. Basson goes in first, here comes Taylor. Gets his header in, oh, it's crept in over the line. It's gone out to Herfkins, that's his cross. Oh, Morrison, surely! Oh, it's saved by Harper's legs. That was a chance for James Morrison. He just gets in here ahead of Ryan Taylor, but good keeping on second sight there by Harper. Doesn't matter how you stop them. This is Duff. Oh, look at this from Damien Duff. And he fired it across goal and wide. I just wonder whether, had he got his time again, he might have pulled that back to Nolan or Amiobi. But from his angle, the shot seemed on Damien Duff. Again, no real sign yet of a West Brom recovery. In fact, on the contrary, there's been a mistake there, and Amiobi is coming in far post! Oh. Albion again, the masters of their own downfall. Mate, oh, there's a bit of a relief for him. He gets caught out here in a position where he should never have given the ball away. Whether he was wrestled to the ground by Logan Kranz is not really the point. And the truth is, it could have been four, just here. Morrison. Oh, Texera looked menacing there for a moment, he still is. And he slid the ball into Fortune, eh? And Albion have got one back at last. It's 3-2. Texera did really, really well. He was onside for today and he buried that beautifully. Made by the Portuguese here in midfield. He manages to slide the ball away from Enrique and also from Basson and Fortuné, 3-2. This is Duff. Oh, it's Logan Kranz for Newcastle. Good save, Carson. Keeps Albion in the game. Would have been 4-2. Peter Logan Kranz. Oh, look at the four defenders, they left him so much room. Lovenkrantz, on his trusted left foot, brings a save out of the goalkeeper.